Hello viewers, my name is John Appleton and in this photo I'm with my wife Tina Biava. I put this uh, photo up front on this slideshow to send information to your right brain as they say. The information you get from this picture exceeds what I could tell you in a short time and any other information about me is not that important right now. I have discovered and drawn other images that will also give you more information than words provide. And they can or will be immediately helpful to you. And so here goes. You can read about my ideas and experiment with more imagery exercises on my website, Posture Release Imagery, and on my Facebook page uh, by the same name. But let's get down to the purpose of this slideshow to give you a refreshing kinesthetic experience of healthy support or posture in your body, in your mind body. The subject of this first illustration is undoubtedly familiar to you, that of evolution. This illustration has a specific purpose though. It is to show the basic changes that have taken place to what are called the dorsal and ventral surfaces of the body on land-bound four-legged animals on this earth. Animals of this sort are called tetrapods or quadrupeds and we are included in this category. In this drawing you can see the evolution of the two basic surfaces. The dorsal surface shown as white and the ventral surface shown as dark gray. They are what were to begin with the top and the bottom or the upper and lower surfaces. Follow the directions I give for the exercise now starting and you will hopefully learn something wonderful about how the sensations on these two surfaces are designed to make supporting our bodies on this earth very easy. Here is an illustration of a male and female figure showing front, side, and back views. The arrows below indicate that people are moving toward you, turning left and sideways, and then walking away. Imagining walking movement may help some people with the image. In the coming slides, these people will be changing appearance, and you are to imagine that you too are changing as they are. You need not be standing while imagining, but it would be definitely useful for you if you are in a chair to be at least sitting towards the front of the chair so that you're not leaning on its back. Okay? Next, if you are seated, it will probably improve the experience that you will hopefully have to have your feet bent in front of you, uncrossed, more or less in line with your body, not straightened out or overly spread out, nor drawn in right next to each other. Okay? To begin with, all the people have changed, and you as well, and become sort of gray. Don't worry, you will not remain this way for long. Next, you become aware that one of the surfaces that you now know about, the ventral surface, is changing to a darker shade of gray on the walking figures and on you. Spend some time imagining the distinctions and where they are on the bodies and your body. If you need more time than this slideshow allows, you can, of course, watch the sequence again or stop the show momentarily. Now, the distinctions between the dorsal and the ventral increase to the maximum. The ventral surface, all of it, is now jet black and the dorsal surface, all of it, is now snow white. Take some time with this. Our brains apparently associate white with expanded and dark with condensed. So you can also help the white areas along by also thinking of them as expanding and becoming lighter, like a balloon, for instance and the black areas as contracting and becoming denser and heavier.
it's not wrong to be skeptical of all these ideas if you're not having uh, kinesthetic experiences of change and a sense of your posture changing or wanting to it makes sense if you don't sense change <laughs> but maybe this will help here I have reversed the black and white surfaces take a moment to imagine that this way is in fact the way that, that black and white appear on your body I don't personally like to imagine this for long. I feel myself collapsing. So I'm returning the image back to the earlier version, okay? Ah, what relief. Remember that I mentioned earlier that you could add to this healthy and invigorating image I think we have here a sense of the white surface expanding even a bit ar around onto and overtaking the black ventral surface which can be imagined as contracting some one last suggestion I will give you at this point is to imagine the white dorsal surface to be light and fluffy like suggested in this illustration and the ventral black surface to be dense, thick, like heavy rubber, perhaps. This has been plenty for one exercise, though there's more possible in this image concerning the healthy relationship between the dorsal and ventral surfaces. That will come next. To enhance your experience with this image, do take time to make sure to include imagining all parts of your body appropriately either as dorsal or ventral including small areas such as the front of your ear and the back of your ear the tops of your feet versus the bottoms the front of your hands or the back of your hands and so forth okay that's been an introductory posture release image exercise until next time, best wishes. Bye-bye.